Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Bistel 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of the Advanced Event Viewer. In a Bistalk environment, it's common that you have multiple servers. And when you have to troubleshoot a problem, you will have to go into the Event Viewer of all the servers. This generally requires that you have access to all of the Event Viewers of all the servers. And then you have to manually correlate all the events on all of the servers to understand the problem. What we created in Bistal 360 is the Advanced Event Viewer, which is a unified view of all the event viewers relevant to a Bistalk environment. So instead of having to connect to each individual server to view the events, you can query the Advanced Event Viewer in Bistal 360. The way the Advanced Event Viewer works is by collecting the event viewers from all the boxes automatically and storing them in Bistal 360. And then we provide you a querying capability on these Advanced Event Viewer entries. Now let's take a look at how this looks. So the first query I will run is a very simple query with no filters. And what this gives me is a top list of all the events on all the servers. It is comparable to what you have in the Event Viewer of Windows, but instead of being for just one machine, it's for all machines in the Bistock environment. You can also visualize the details on the entries by clicking on the eye icon on the Event Viewer entry. And you can build queries so that you find the events you're looking for. If you are troubleshooting a problem, you probably want to look for errors. Or if you're looking to a specific machine, you can also specify which machine you want to look into. So you, can, so you can choose the computer and then choose from the list of computers available in the Event Viewer entry. Similar to all the other querying capabilities in Bistal 360, you can also load, save, copy and delete advanced Event Viewer queries. You also don't need to assign specific permissions to users to be able to query the event viewers. You just need to be a user of Bistal 360 with the rights to advanced event viewer instead of needing specific rights on the Bistal servers. And this is all from advanced event viewer.